Hi there, let's make an artsy tag. I'm gonna be using one of my In the Garden Art Pop cards. This is one of the small cards and a black tag as the base and a few other items, but let's get started. We're gonna use the black tag and I'm gonna use some white acrylic paint. This is titanium white from Golden. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I also like the Dick Blick brand. This is kind of a heavy, it's a heavier um, acrylic, which I really like and it, it works well with when you want to have something kind of thick and it's not too creamy which is nice and I really like the way it looks when you just kind of rub it on it kind of looks it well it looks very worn and it dries really really fast and so I'm just gonna rub a little bit of that on the top of the tag and I like how the texture of the tag um, comes through a little bit on that as well so we're gonna start with that and then we're gonna use a little bit of golden uh, this is the high flow acrylics. This is in green gold. I really like this paint. It's it's unusual actually. It 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 kind of looks a little raised, almost dimensional after you uh, after it dries. Um, and I've been experimenting with it, and I rather like it. I'm gonna open it a little. It has a nice little squeeze top on it, and I'm just gonna put a little bit here at the top, just a little bit, and then we're gonna add some water. Up here at the top to let that drip down and I might add another color in here I haven't quite decided yet and you can see it's just kind of dripping down and I think I'm going to add a little bit of the teal as well just a smidgen and this is really just to go with the um, the art pop card that I chose I don't want to cover up all the white but I do want to have a little bit of drip uh, some dripped color on there and I think that kind of blends nicely all right so I'm gonna let that sit there we want that to dry before we move to the next step and actually I'm gonna wipe a little bit of this off because the, the tag is gonna be put down here so I don't want that to really stay that wet all right once the tag is dry we're gonna add our art pop card and we're going to add, I took a little piece of some old handwriting from an old letter and I'm going to add that as well. I just want to add a little, I think it complements nicely the tag or the little card. So I'm going to put it underneath, I think, right here in the corner. I'm just going to use my glue stick to attach it. My, my Art pop card will be positioned towards the bottom here with just a little bit of an edge. It's nice because you can see the black border of the tag around the edge, so it peeks out nicely. All right, so then we just have that little bit of the handwritten letter peeking through. Now I'm going to add my art pop card to it. And I'm going to stitch around the perimeter of this, around the edge of the card, so I don't really have to worry about this being perfect, but. I'm going to glue that down and that that color looks really good off of the could have just used the teal even that would have been pretty all right and I'm going to take uh, my regular old number two pencil while I'm at it I'm just gonna scribble around this a little bit okay Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is, before I use the sewing machine to stitch, I'm going to do a little bit of stitching, hand stitching with embroidery thread. Now I've already threaded my needle with some black embroidery thread and I just put a little knot at the bottom of it so that I have this little tail up here at the top. So I'm just going to, I didn't double it, I'm just going to use, I think there's three strands that I've used on this one. And I'm going to actually be doing some stitching up here. This just needs a little, I, I want to have something different to complement the card. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to do three X's. I'm going to stitch three X's. And it is thick, so just take your time going through it. Now, it's going to be a little hard to get this accurate, so I'm going to just prepare the little hole there so I already know where I want it to go. And then come up through it. And then go down over here. Um, there's my first one. And then I'm going to do two more. 
I'm going to prepare my little hole there just to make it a little easier for me, especially black on black. It's a little hard to see it. And then go down, make my next hole. And let's see, let's put this one right here. Go up through that one. And then we'll make one more. And you can see it just, it with the black, and it just, it's an extra uh, little bit of texture and pattern. I think it really looks pretty adding that in. And then let's do one more. You can do any kind of stitch, but I, I kind of like the crosses or the X's rather. And what's nice is we're going to uh, st stitch around the perimeter of the tag here in a second on the part where the art pop card is. So it'll be nice to have a different type of stitching like we have here. All right, so all done. Now this will be a little bit of a challenge. You'll just have to go in and really however you like to do your knot closures. But I go back through a stitch and then I go through the loop. And then I do it again and you just hold it. This embroidery thread is very silky. I don't recommend it for this, but it was what I had in my stash for black. I like the non-silky better, but that's tied off nicely. So now I have a little knot. I know you can't see it black on black, but all right. So we're going to close that off. And don't worry about this. I have an idea for how we can cover that up because that's kind of yucky. We don't, we don't want to send it like that. Okay, so the next step is going to be to do some stitching. And I also want to add a uh, little tab on the outside of the tag and I have a set of um, tabs that were punched from a uh, hand punch and you just fold them in half and then you've got your really cool little tab and I just got to decide which one of these is going to be the top which one's going to show and either one of these is nice but I really like the pink because it plays off the little center of the flower there which I think is really pretty so I think I'm going to go with that one. Now it's going to be stitched, but to tack it in place for now, I'm just going to put some glue on it. And then that will hold it. Well, it'll hold it as well as it can until we do the stitching. I'm just going to put it on the edge there. And just place it wherever you want. I like it sticking off the side. I think it just adds a lot more interest to the tag. And then we're going to go in and use the sewing machine now to stitch around the edge and all the way up around the tag. And I'm going to start up here on this side here where the tab is because it definitely does not want to stay in place. Now I'm just doing a straight stitch all the way around and I'll probably do it more than once, maybe two or three times. I like having a good variety of stitching while I'm working. So let's do that. I'm using black thread, but you can use any color thread that you like. Whatever works for you. And again, I'm just going to start at the end here and work my way around doing a straight stitch. Okay, now that our tag has been stitched, and again, I only went from the very top of the tab that I attached all the way around the art pop card, just above it, and I went around twice. I didn't go around the whole tag, just um, part of it. So now let's do the last bit of the finishing touches. Uh, let's flip it over and on the back side, uh, we have that little area where we hand stitched the embroidery. And I thought it might be nice uh, to camouflage that a little bit by adding um, another sticker. So I've pulled a sticker from my In the Garden collection. These are the larger stickers, the round stickers. And I thought this one would look really pretty because it coordinates. And we could just stick that right over the top. Now it's bumpy, but if you press hard and you just work it, it'll cover it up. And now you've made the back of the card or the tag look pretty. You can even write your message here with a white pen and you've covered up the embroidery, the hand stitching. So let's turn it back over and we only have a couple more things to add. I thought that uh, we could add a lighter color of sari ribbon. Um, you can use really any ribbon that you want, but I thought I don't want to compete too much with all the colors that are in this already. So let's go ahead and just add in this piece of sari ribbon. This is kind of a cream color. I think it's really pretty and it complements it. It doesn't overpower it. But let's add something more. 
I like to take words that I've clipped out of books um, and I like to add those into my tags and work. So I found a few here, some letters, and I thought it would be very appropriate. So let's put these in here. I've already pre-cut these out, but sometimes I keep some and I just keep them in a little bag and I go back to them if I find something I really like. This one I thought was perfect and it reads, be a flower gatherer. I thought that was really pretty and very appropriate for my flower on my art pop card as part of that collection. Now to finish this off, I'm going to go in and just make sure it's glued down. I just used a glue stick. I'm going to circle it a little bit with my pencil and then I'm going to go in with my Stabilo pencil. And the Stabilo pencil will just make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to go in and just draw around it. Be very careful. And then let's use, um, I was going to use a water brush, but I don't want too much water on it. So let's just use a little paintbrush that has a little bit of water added. And if we just activate that pencil a little bit, it makes it stand out more on the tag. And I think that works just fine. So now we have an art card that we made. It didn't take very long. It was very quick. It's very bright and colorful. And again, you can write your message on the back with a white pen. Um, I recommend the Stabilo or the um, the Uniball Signo white pen. Um, it works really well on black, and then you have a pretty little insert that you can give to somebody, um, a little thank you or whatnot, and uh, it's pretty and colorful. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun creating if you're using my art pop cards or your own artwork to create some really cool tags. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.